Eddie Hall, known as The Beast. And yes, you guessed it, he is a heavyweight. In fact, the world's strongest man. And he fights out of Newcastle, England. Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Manchester, England. He'll beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. The reach, how on earth? How are you gonna get through that jab? And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Newcastle under Lyme, England, the first man to deadlift 500 kilos, the 2017 World's Strongest Man, here is Eddie, the Beast Hall. Hiding out of the blue corner, from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. How will these two fighters handle the outdoors? We're fighting under the sun here for this big showdown. You can't beat a good old fashioned rivalry. When there's guts, when there's feeling, when there's heart involved, that's when you get a good fight, one on one. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. So here we go, should be a good one. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. Stadium blazing. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. Nice punch. They score again with the left hand. He just misses with that big right hand. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. How you deal with a slugger? You've got to use brain over bone. Bull in a matador. Pop, jab, move. Get them angry. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. Big left there, but misses. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. No rest for the weary. And a counter left. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. What do we expect to see here in round two? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fights can do that. Most 
stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Left shot lands. Positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Changes from both men in this round. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want, because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Good counter punching. He misses with that jab. but doesn't score with it. Which fighter will say no mosh? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice counter shot with the right hand. That left counter was perfectly timed. Counter right. And someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. Lands with the right counter. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. He blocks the jab. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Changes from both men in this round. He parries that right jab away. Big right hand just misses. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous thing.
Big punch. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Counterpunch. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. And they get out of the way of that left hand. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. A nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Beautiful counter shot. Say no moss. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. So much firepower here. He misses with that jab. Out, you can tell. And wait a minute, a left hand lands. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Left counter scores. There's the bell to start round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you're thinking, you just got to be smart with them. you got to be like a little favorite and pickpocket them. Perfect counter shot. Nice shot with the left. Rest for the weary. Good counter punching for both these fighters. And left scores. Stamina 
that is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. <laughs> Trying to answer back. That one lands. Nice counter shot. He got out of the way of that right hook. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. On to the sixth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Missed him with that uppercut. exchange here from both men. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what? Nice counter shot. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a look at because you've got to get some before you get in close. When you have a fight that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? He blocks the right uppercut. That counter shot lands. Through the hooks, didn't land. You don't want to trade shots. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. And he fails to score with that left hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. There's the bell to start round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. One of these 
these fighters are starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. You've got to relax. That punch landed. That left hand misses. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that jab. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Good counter punching for both these athletes. This is a high octane battle. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. Here's the bell to start round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. That punch. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. This is when you get in the ring feeling like your King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. That punch scores. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. 
Hey, those punches add up. Big swing and a miss. That left hook missed. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. They just missed with that big right hand. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. Swing and a miss with that hook. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta outthink him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little fag in a pickpocket him. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have the quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get caught to ribbons. And that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen. So you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. He blocks the hook. Good left hand. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. It's round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Missing with that right hook. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? This could be really... And yes, there's a cut, and the referee will stop the action. Okay, are you all right? Are you okay? A little bit of a surprise here as the referee says, we can continue. Fresh. 
That's a scoring left hand. Oh, what a punch! Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Failing to score with that right hook. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Punch, counter punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Sided decision there, a unanimous one. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened, a unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, what a result. 